Hello everyone, and welcome back to Rose Rates, the series where I judge people because I can. Today we are going to be rating Kale from um, Genshin Impact. Uh, she came out with Sumeru, I believe, or Sumeru. I say Sumeru. If it's wrong, I'm wrong. Um, I love Kale. I have her. She's on my team. I used her through most of Sumeru. So I am very biased going into this, and I'm gonna just tell you guys that up front. Um, but we're gonna watch it anyway. I haven't actually watched her character demo, I've just played with her. So here we go. Trainee Forest Ranger Kale reporting for duty. I will ensure your safe passage through this forest. I think I finally got that line down. I, I didn't get any of it wrong. She's got very musical theater music going. Right today. I'll take the chance to try to get some more done than usual. Same. Even if it's a life or death situation, I'll never need to rely on their power again. I love this music. I hate those fun guys. They suck. Just like we were hurt. A anyway, you two know Amber, right? Oh my gosh, she is just a precious little bean. Uh... Okay, Sprout of Rebirth, the trainee ranger active in Navidia Forest. Behind her enthusiastic words and actions hides a slightly introverted personality. Here's the thing, you guys. Right off the bat, Kale is so cute. Um, she has a chronic illness that affects her energy levels. Me. Um, we love her. Anyway, combat outfit. Um, I think she has a good combat outfit. Uh, I'm gonna give her five. Five out of five. Um, like I talk- I, I don't know when these videos are gonna be posted. So I'm not gonna say that. She has hand and arm protection. Um, she doesn't have the, the pinky, uh, and four- and ring finger protection, but like, it's probably fine. Um, at least she has some protection for shooting a bow. You want that. Um, so I approve of that. She has most of her arms covered. She has full front covered. It looks like her shirt might have a low back line, but um, I mean, if you're getting stabbed in the back, you're kind of SOL anyway. Um, and I believe that she has uh, her boots come up decently high. Let's see. Let's see, this is this looks like a picture of her legs. There she was running. Let's pause it here. Yeah. So like, yeah, one of her boots comes up higher. They, this is like a common Genshin style, but it's still providing leg protection. She has solid boots on for running, moving quick in combat. She has nice short hair. The frilly bits of her outfit are to the back. Like I said, as a ranger uh, with a bow, like coming from the back is just, you know, that's going to be her downfall anyways. So I, I really like her outfit. Five out of five. I think it's a great combat outfit for Ranger. Um, she's doing things right as a trainee. Voiceover match. I do like her voice. Her voice makes her sound very young. Um, right now, specifically in this picture, her eyes tell me that she's a little older. So I'm not really sure how old she is. I know she has some like backstory of like traumatic childhood, um, which always can make people present younger because of just maturity and the way that trauma affects the brain. So I'm not really sure how old she's supposed to be. Her voice gives me like younger, cutesy, excited to be here, which she is. I think this is a well done, cutesy, excited voice. It's not grating. It can be a little annoying, but it's annoying in like a, okay, you're kind of cute way. 
So voiceover, yes. Toxic boy scale. Um, Kalei is not a toxic boy. She is a sweet little bean. And if you say in the comments that you think she is even one oxalotl worth of a toxic boy, I will ban you. <laughs> okay, I won't. I won't ban you. But I will just be heartbroken instead. Because I care what the internet thinks about my opinions about a fantasy character. Kalei is not a toxic boy. Alignment. I think she's, I think she... Okay. I think she's... You know, I think she's all three. I think she is the rare occasion of all three. She is a fast bread lamp. Um, I think... I think she really has traits that, that that combine all three. She's a fast bread lamp. Uh, Marvin approval. Marvin better love Kalei or else I will disown him. I will not disown him. <laughs> I think Marvin would like Kalei. I think that she would have a good attitude coming in to meet him. I think she might be a little too excited to meet him and he might be like, ugh, at first, but then they would quickly warm up. So... Like, maybe four. Four out of five Marvins, just because that initial experience, she might be a little too excited. But I think that they would get past it very quickly, and then they would both be just as excited when the other person, um, when they meet the other person in the future, after that initial greeting. So, uh, we're gonna give her four out of five Marvins. So, here are her ratings. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree and what Genshin character you'd like to see next. Okay, bye.